Hi, I'm Nita. And I'm Sinead. And today we're talking all about teeth. <laughs> Good. going to dentistry um, we know very little about human teeth other than you should look after them yeah <laughs> they know people <laughs> that's right <laughs> uh, what we're talking about today is different tooth styles on the silky saws now we do get questions from time to time with people not quite sure what a foretsomy tooth is and what difference there is between a silky set tooth and a non-set tooth so today breaking it down yes <laughs> so a non-set tooth. Now I'm like wiping my teeth with my tongue. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, side point. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll pop up a few photos, but a non-set tooth mm. is the uh, the blade means it's been tape, tapered ground. Yes, That's correct. So that means it's it's kind of like it's like this kind of shape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they've ground into the blade like this, not as curvaceous. No. As most women would like to be, but there is a slight curve on the blade, so the teeth kick out like this, but yes. they're not pulled out or set out. It's just grinding of the blade, causing a concave on the sides of the blade. There you go. The benefit of the non-set tooth is that mm -hmm. it reduces friction, yeah. and that means it's because the where how the blade has been hollowed out. Mm. It means the center of that blade there isn't touching the side of the branch, right. so it gives you that smoother and easier mm. cutting performance because you have mm, just the tool. tips of the teeth really rubbing, yeah rubbing yeah. through that blade mm, that's right so a very smooth easy cut is the silky non-set tooth now the set tooth as Sinead said thrombic um, it's actually four rows of teeth so you so that means that you actually have four rows of teeth cutting so that's in one stroke of that saw coming through the timber it's got four pointy teeth digging out chunks of wood. So it is actually a very aggressive cut. It's an aggressive style tooth. But the great thing with this style of tooth is it will cope with any condition. So it yeah. will do all of your, your styles of cut. It will do a rip cut, a cross cut, a slant cut without problems because those four teeth will rip across the grain or with the grain or against the grain, the whole deal. Those, <laughs> that tooth style will be, will be good with all the different um, angles you might want to do on your branch. And the other thing is, it will cut out such a big piece of chunk of timber each time you drag it through the branch, it's a really fast cut. Yes. So not good if you're me and you're like, nah, do I really want to work that hard? That's not the tooth style for me. But for somebody like my father, who's just like, oh, I want to get in there and get the job done, he loves that tooth style. He wants to feel like he's working. He wants to feel like the saw is doing the job he wants it to do. So he loves the four rets me, is what Silky call it, tooth style. Um, so we're all a bit different. It may depend on what you're cutting, what you want to use it for, or just your personality. Mm -hmm. But there is a big difference between the four rets in set tooth that I'm talking about and the... Uh, Non-set tooth. Yeah, like that's the, right. the um, sugoi. Yeah, so what we thought might be easiest is most of the silky saws are actually a non-set tooth. There is two styles within the silky non-set teeth, but we're not going to talk about that today. But what we thought we'd do is highlight the saws that actually do have the four rets in tooth. So if you think you're one of those people that... You're like, yeah, I want one of those aggressive, fast saws that, that I can actually feel I'm working with. Then we thought we'd help you figure out which ones they are. <laughs> yes. So the smallest of them is the gunman. So this one here is actually designed for construction work or building work. So cutting 4x2 and stuff like that up. So this has a 4 retsume tooth. And as I mentioned, it's a very small 4 retsume tooth, but it definitely has that 4 retsume tooth. Non-sharpenable, so you can't sharpen this one, but definitely a fast, aggressive cutting saw, the, the gunman. Yep. And then coming into our bigger range, they so have, have the 4 retsume. 4 retsume is the Mazari. The Mazari, yeah. My favorite. Yep, and you can sharpen this one. <laughs> yep. Comes in two lengths. Yes, it does, mm -hmm. so 33, 36. Yep. Um, the other one is the Zora. Yes. So this one has a 37. Mm, real, real beast, the Zora. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it takes a very talented person to use this beast. The king of the castle when it comes to um, to aggressive, fast cutting teeth, the Zora. Yeah. It is definitely, if you want the fastest, most aggressive, silky, as far as tooth style, this one wins. This one, all the way. <laughs> and again, two, two blade lengths. Um, 34 and 37. Yes, centimetres. 
Now, the one that Sinead just grabbed, now this one's going to puzzle you. We have it here. Now, these are both Ibukis. This one is the older style of Ibuki. This one's the newer style. Yeah. So if you're lucky enough to go into a shop that still has the Ibukis with the black case, this one has a four reps me tooth. So this one is the fast, aggressive cut. That one, however, has a non-set tooth. That's right. So they actually changed the Ibuki. So you can no longer buy the Ibuki with the black case and the 4 it's me tooth from Japan. They're not manufacturing this style of blade anymore for the Ibuki. But there are some stores that will still have it in stock. So if you want one of these, go and see if you can find one with a black case because that's how you're going to tell the difference. Yes. Hmm. Um, but yeah, the uh, new one has the red one. Yeah, but it's a really cool saw. It's, um, it's got a really thick curve, so very, very strong. And a lot of arborists in Australia use it for deadwooding, so yeah. really good for that task. So a few people have told us that we talk too much. <laughs> I don't <laughs> see where. <laughs> um, so we're going to throw up a quick demo of uh, one of the gentlemen in our office using mm -hmm. a non-set tooth and a full retsumi tooth. So he's going to drag the blade across our little desk and give you an idea of the teeth what they actually do to the desk so a non-set tooth shouldn't really do anything which is why carpenters absolutely love it like and desk she means we've got oh yeah a timber desk <laughs> top and legs <laughs> table it's probably a table <laughs> but yeah so the non-set tooth shouldn't make a mark and the set tooth should pretty wreck it yeah, yes really <laughs> do some damage oh bro. See the two. See if can you see the, which one one's bent? Mm -hmm. right, okay. And I'll press hard as I can. Go across grain. That's the back end of the saw. All right, that's because I pressed so hard on the um, the saw. But so what a lot of carpenters will do, they can actually cut the bottom of door frames, and they don't ruin the floor. They cut like that, right? With a with a Japanese saw because non-set teeth won't cut the bottom of the door frame. Okay, so I hope that made sense and um, you got the idea of what we're talking about with the two different tooth sizes. So now that you've figured out which one is perfect for you and you've gone out and brought your silky saw, don't forget. Cleaning gloves. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one of the most important things about looking after your silky saw is making sure mm -hmm. it is clean. So we have the Easy Saw Cleaner, which mm -hmm. is 100% natural antibacterial spray. 100% um, Australian owned and made mm -hmm. as well. So yep. it's just great for it, removing the sap off the blade mm -hmm. and any bacteria that is left on the blade as well. This mm -hmm. will clear it off. So clear it off with an old rag. Um, and then to give it that extra coating, coating? <laughs> extra coating and a little bit of love, we suggest a lanolin spray as well. Just quick, do a quick spray over, over the blade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. And that will keep it beautiful and shiny for years and years and years. Yes. So that's all from us this week. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and also like, like the like, hit the like button. Give <laughs> <laughs> the thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. It. Thumbs up it. Um, <laughs> if you want to learn any more about silky saws, if you have a question, leave us a comment and we'll be more than happy to send us, send you a message back. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, oh. that is all from us. We hope you have a good week. We totally know what we're doing. <laughs>